Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's such an honor to be here today. Uh, my heartfelt thank you to the Gujarat, to everyone part of Gujarat Tourism for actually making um, their opportunity. Uh, 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 so I'm very thrilled uh, that I'm actually hosting on this uh, on this absolutely spectacular moment in time. Uh, going to Gujarat, celebrating with the land of culture, tradition, and now empowerment and economic growth, it just makes it the best location because what we are looking for, what is cinema? Cinema is two things, is culture, is, is displaying our culture on celluloid and huge economic growth at the cinema halls. And that is what Gujarat stands for. So ladies and gentlemen, we could not be in a better location than then Rip City on the 28th, and of course we have 27th, a two-day event, which is again a first. Um, as Jitesh said, that you know there are many, many exciting performances. You already heard that there's Ranbir, my boy Varun, my girl Janvi, there's Love the Lovely Sara, there is Karthik, there is Karina, and there's of course Ayushman and Manish and myself. And uh, this is also marks the debut of Rohit Gopakumar into, into the crazy world uh, of, uh, of film uh, uh, I have to say that Rohit has been such a solid, solid, solid force and a force of nature at the Times Group. And for him to help things for the first time is daunting and exciting in equal measure. But I think he has uh, the absolute support of Team Film Fair led admirably by Jitesh Pillay. Uh, he says with great humility, but 20 years in one organization is no mean feat, ladies and gentlemen. 20 years to run the magazine and an award ceremony. Um, we make movies and running award shows and, and a magazine is all the same thing because you're dealing with fragility all the time. Fragile egos, fragile timelines, and of course, fragile deliverables. Uh, he's done that with such, um, I think I would say, with abandon and always with a smile on his face, never showing really what happens behind the scenes. Rohit, I, I, I should say that this is your first, and I'd like to tell you about my first. Um, so the reason I started hosting was because of Filmfare Awards. I was um, then asked by the team of Filmfare in the year 2000, and 2000, the year 2000 actually, no, 2001, sorry. It was um, that year that I was asked to, to host. And of course, I hosted that year um, as the first time I've ever, ever been on stage hosting any ceremony. And that began my journey as a host. So it's been actually, Jitesh, if it's your 20 years, uh, it's my 22 years of hosting. <laughs> uh, and subsequently, of course, I've hosted a fair amount, as you might know. And so I have an emotional attachment to the enterprise uh, that is still fair. And let's all know and admit that this is the most archived history, uh, in history of cinema, it is such an archived award. Winning a film fair is really, truly going into the archives of Hindi cinema, and Indian cinema, because now film fair is cutting across all languages. So to have that moment in history is what most creative artists aspire for. Uh, and uh, that's why, that's what makes film fair not just powerful, but exceptionally emotional and special to all the nominees and winners. And of course, uh, like Jitesh said, being so, and I wish that everyone in the industry had the spirit to come and applaud the wonderful talent that wins. Being nominated is a great thing and everyone should know that. I have been in the industry 25 years. I've only won two Filmfare Awards, uh, but yet I applaud the geniuses who have won several others and many more, and I will continue to, no matter what the wins are, no matter what the glories are, it's the participation and the good spend, sense of community that Filmfare stands for. And so thank you again to, to, uh, to Gujarat Tourism and to Gujarat, and sir, thank you for leading the way and we're all very excited to be there on the 27th and the 28th. Thank you so much. Now I turn the mic over to Varun Dhawan. <coughs> Varun, you want to talk to us about your first ever appearance at the Filmfare Awards where you were not given tickets, but you came on someone else's ticket? I actually came on uh, Arpita's ticket in And uh, Salman Bhai was uh, performing and I wanted to, and very last minute, I decided to come. Obviously, I didn't know Jitesh uh, back then. And, 
No, my, yeah, my first performance ever was also film fair. Yeah. But uh, he's talking when I attended film fair for the first time. Uh, in 2001, like Karan said, when he hosted for the first time, Jagni was four years old that time. <laughs> <laughs> you just said I was four. I just want to know so I can say this joke. But anyway. So, which you want? He's just getting back to me. Yes, yes. Uh, she is. She is 26 years older, than, younger than me, and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> but, uh, but genuinely, I think when you think about film fair, when you think of hosting. Obviously, you've had uh, uh, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, you've had Saif Ali Khan, who have done a wonderful job, and uh, Karan Johar as well. I always like get glued to the TV. I used to when Karan used to host and then now for the last couple of years he's not been hosting. So it's going to be great to see him back on the stage and he's going to... It's a comeback, it's a comeback. Yeah. Don't call it a comeback. But it's a comeback of sorts and he's going to take over the stage in Gujarat. Uh, some censorship rules will be placed but <laughs> besides that... Besides that, it's going to be great host. Karan's a great host, a great host and if he doesn't like you, he'll be a great ghost also as in ghost too. But, uh, I think this, seeing him on stage, it's going to be the most entertaining film fair, I think, in the last decade or so. I vouch that this one's going to be the best one. Karun, uh, tell us about your first performance at film fair. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I remember there was a technical glitch that that. It's so ironic <laughs> that year there was Alia, Varun, and Sid all debuted, and none of them won the debut award. <laughs> <laughs> and it was their first performance. And ironically, Ayushman won. Uh, yeah, Ayushman, and he deserves it. Of course, it's fantastic. I was just excited that I got to perform that year, and uh, you didn't. Alia and Sid didn't perform. Ayushman didn't perform. Did Ayushman perform that? All three of you performed. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you are talking about screen. Oh, screen, you're. See, this is the love he has. I don't know your life. Everywhere that year. I remember. Yeah, you remember. But there was a glitch and uh, when I was going for my performance, I've come on stage, the lights are shut. The lights come on and the music just stopped midway. And bang in front of me, I see Mr. Salman Khan just watching me like that. Mm -hmm. And I got so scared because I'm like, hey, music is closed, what do I do? I'm going to do what I do. I started sweating, I've gone back, I've told Jitesh, what's going on, what's going on? He said, no, no, don't worry, the people will understand. We'll edit this part or whatever, don't worry, you start again. And that whole performance, I remember, Bhai had just made like eye contact with me. And I had to look into his eyes and dance, which is not easy. Because I was trying to smile and all, and he, but even if he's happy, smiling, he won't smile. So, he was just looking at me like... So, I don't know if he liked my performance or no, but I think he did like it eventually. It was? Janvi was uh, 12 that time. <laughs> that performance. Janvi, tell us about your first uh, association with film Well, firstly, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone in this dais for including me in um, this celebration of what we all know has been a milestone year for Indian cinema. And I think also a celebration of this amazing state in our country that's given us so much culturally, given us cinema so much. And I, in fact, in the past year, have spent a lot of time in Gujarat. I shot significant bits of um, our upcoming film, Mr. and Mrs. Mahi, in Ahmedabad. I went for my cricket camp in Baroda. We shot another schedule in Surat. So Gujarat really does feel like home. And I really don't think there's a better place for us to have this film fair celebration. And um, yeah, my first memory of film fair, I think, it was actually with mom. So as everyone knows, mom wasn't a very outgoing person. But when it came to film fair at home, it was always like a family outing. Like we'd get ready, we'd go, and she was very excited to show me, you know, all these amazing performances. And I'd pick out her dress. And I remember the first film fair that I ever went for. I picked out what she wore, she wore this black gown. So I was going to get my hand and get my hand and get my hand. I'm going to get my hand. And finally, uh, uh, your, your first ever performance at Film was Fair. Also film. My first ever stage performance was also Film Fair. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. I think, I think that's when I actually fell in love with dancing and performing on stage for a live audience. And yeah, that's because you're always so welcoming and so encouraging. And I can't wait to be back on the Film Fair stage. Genuinely an artist, really performing.
perform at film fair it's always the best like behind the scenes you don't see how much hard work anu puts in or how much of the other you know the other editors over there or the other journalists over there help you out from times to and jitesh is always welcoming and comforting especially when you're new you're full of nerves and you're even when you, you've done a few years in this business you get nervous you know just before facing a crowd and i believe this time in gujarat the capacity is of like 10000 people usse bhi zyada black ho jayenge tickets but hum chahte hain ki pura full house ho gujarat mein aur gandhinagar mein ekdam jalsa ka mall ho matlab ekdam maza aa jaye hum chahte hain especially mere liye bahut aaye genuinely aaye gujarat mein aaye the gujarat mein aaye the gujarat mein aaye the gujarat mein so it's very exciting my bhabhi is also gujarat who in the my so gujarat Purva is from Gujarat. He is my boss. CEO. My CEO, my boss is from Gujarat. It's a personal connection. Everyone's boss is from Gujarat. <laughs> well, thank you so much for those interesting conversation and amazing laugh. Now I would like to open the forum for the media to ask their questions. But before I do that, I would request all the media representatives. kindly adhere to the following code of conduct if you have any questions please raise your hands and we have designated team members who will provide the microphone to you and while we do appreciate all your queries we'll kindly request you to focus on today's press conference's agenda thank you so much and the floor is now open arun आपकी झलकिया हमें इस बार देखने को मिली हाँ जी ऑफकोर्स आप जानते हैं कि हम निर्माता हैं निर्देशक हैं तो हम अपने ऑडियंस को हमेशा वी केटर टू दी ऑडियंसेस एंड दी ऑडियंसेस विल बी फ्रॉम द वंडरफुल लवली गुजरात तो आई एम श्योर देयर विल बी द यूसेज ऑफ द लैंग्वेज डेफिनेटली हमारे स्क्रिप्ट में थैंक यू हाय दिस इज सोहेल हियर फ्रॉम ओशन बॉलीवुड कांग्रेचुलेशंस टू द एंटायर टीम एंड एवरीवन प्रेजेंट ऑन द डायस दिस इज ओनली टू नो लाइक यू फिल्म फेयर हैज बीन ऑर्गेनाइजिंग विद इन मुंबई ओनली दे आर लाइक यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई थिंक इट्स ऑलमोस्ट Every time it was in Mumbai, but why did we choose Gujarat this time? It was just because like uh, Gujarat tourism is the sponsor, or maybe some other reason also. Or you planning it could be nationally, and maybe next time it can go international also. Uh, actually, it's not the first time. The first time was in Assam, uh, where film fair was held outside of Mumbai. Uh, actually maybe the second time outside of mumbai first time i remember many years ago it was in pune once we had done uh, many years ago and that, uh, i think the, the first ever was outside was assam and guwahati and now it's it's in in gujarat the second time so uh, you know doing an event of this nature there are a lot of requirements it's just not that we can decide and just go to any city any state and just do an event of this nature there are a lot of things required out of uh, uh, you know the the state the on ground so for for us for example gujarat provides us a, a fabulous infrastructure and it's also a market which actually contributes a lot to bollywood in terms of box office collections and sales so if you look at the data from box office or even tv viewership or anything like the the hindi cinema contribution of gujarat is very 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 big and tourism uh, department of gujarat has been looking at opportunities which can actually connect you know businesses like entertainment business like ours with Uh, the crowd in Gujarat, plus also take out the essence of Gujarat through entertainment to the audience outside of Gujarat. So it's actually a great marriage between film fair and Gujarat tourism to take the culture through cinema. Maybe what like like earlier question what he was asking, we are going to be putting lot of cultural nuances in the show, the content integration through the show. We are having some great shots done by some of uh, you know uh, artists out of Gujarat. so all those form the backdrop for film fair in gujarat so that's how it benefits the state and for us also as as a platform you know i i really hope 
that uh, because film fair I feel or cinema I feel is not Mumbai. I think Hindi cinema as 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 a phenomena is national, and I would love to take film fair out to other states, other cities to spread. Uh, you know, in terms of the entertainment uh, industry itself, out of Mumbai itself. That, that's that's a that's what we would aim to do, and this is an opportunity for us to be partnering with Mumbai. I hope I answered. Okay. Thank you. Varun, what does award mean to you? And even Janvi, you can answer later. What does it mean to me? Yeah. It means a lot. It means it's some kind of a validation, right? In your career when you work very hard with me and you put in so much blood, sweat, time, sacrifice, you know, and uh, when all that is done in, in the end of the year you're compared to your peers and uh, hopefully the best person gets it. And uh film fair like Karan said over here, that's that's something which gets recorded in history. Everyone discusses ki ye saal kisne film fair jita tha, best best actor ka best actress ka or whether it's even in the technical uh, categories, you know, it's very, it's very discussed and very uh, revered by us uh, within our fraternity for sure. So it means a big deal, I think. Uh, it's like you are reaching the top of the mountain. Can we? Yeah, I mean, like, like Varun rightly said, I think it just means that someone has appreciated your work, whether it's the jury or whether it's a popular choice award. I think it means a great deal for an artist to be appreciated for the effort that they've put in. Um, and, and yeah, I think film fair has always been a symbol of credibility and something that actors and technicians and filmmakers that I aspire for, that kind of recognition and appreciation. I remember when I first got nominated for a film fair for Gunjan Saxena in the Best Actress category, the kind of, I didn't expect it to mean as much as it did, but it really changed the way that, I don't know, I guess, Having that external validation of people recognizing you made me believe in myself more, and I think that's what awards and specifically film fair means to a lot of actors. I think, especially where art is concerned, it's very important because uh, we we gauge success through the box office, which is very important because it is a business you need that income coming in. But sometimes a film is made very well and it doesn't get that desired result at the box office. So when it gets awards, then the film lives on. It, it really lives on, it gets more legs. Uh, the artists and the people behind making that film get so much respect. It empowers them and makes them brave to go ahead and continue making the cinema they want. So in that sense, it's it's very rewarding for those people. So hats off, that you all keep it, that you are all going. This is the 69th year. Jitesh, it's your 20th. So it's great that you all are going on and on and you are going to keep encouraging Indian cinema. Thank you. Karan, it wouldn't be too much if I say that Karan is the best host and those nationally, you know. What do you have to say and how do you look at your second innings with the film fair? <laughs> My second innings? It hasn't been that long <laughs> uh, that I have hosted film fair. Has it been that long? There was a two, yeah. I, I actually hosted film fair in the year 2020. Uh, Vicky, no, no, no. Vicky Kaushal. So I'm actually back after three years. Uh, oh, but thank you, ma'am, for that compliment. I don't consider myself the best in anything I do. Um, I think that we all are creative artists trying to achieve excellence. Uh, be it in any way. I'm just, uh, I'm just happy that beyond uh, the periphery of uh, filmmaking, which is uh, producing and directing and uh, curating cinema. I can also get the opportunity to host a talk show or host an award ceremony. Um, it, it means a lot to me that, that I've been doing this for over 22 years and, and I hope that that doesn't stop because it's a great way of connecting to your core audience and it really keeps me motivated in more ways than one. Thank you Karan, thank you Varun, thank you Jandi. Thank you media for all your questions. Now I would request all the esteemed guests present over here and also, the, Gujra uh, the, gov the guests from the government of Gujarat present in the audience to please come forward on the stage for a group photograph.